What's up, y'all? Dodge Whisperer here. We're about to make a test drive. My shop is thoroughly destroyed. Let's take a look under the hood, see what all got done this week, because we we're busy. Very, very busy. And um, not without its pitfalls. Uh, so let's just take a look and show y'all what worked and what didn't. Alrighty, she's all together. It's got a carburetor, and it's got spark plug wires. It's got belts, and questionably mounted fuel pumps that's temporary. But, all the plumbing is looking pretty good for the now. And we've got a battery. Um, lots of looming still yet to be done, but it all works. If y'all saw the live the other day, no, we didn't have a key on. Key on. No, we were we were missing uh, power for uh, while cranking over there, and remedied that. Um, also, the alternator wasn't charging because I wired it wrong. Fix that. She's full of water and some water wetter, oil, transmission fluid. Oh, speaking of transmissions, yeah. The really awesome looking BNM Mega Shifter, it will not work. Um, I don't think that any style shifter like that, a Hurst otherwise, uh, would work either with the forward exit cable that comes around and basically just gets destroyed by the headers. Um, I thought maybe I could use a longer cable and route it differently, but that ain't gonna work. So let's take a look at the solution there. All right, in the car, you will now see a Cheetah SCS shifter. It's got a quite different style cable routing. Comes in from the back of the transmission. Uh, I did not really want to put another hole up in that vicinity yet. So I took the easy route out and passed it right through there. But it works. It will never melt on the headers ever again. And hey, we can get a seat in here. Yes, there's actually another one just like it that is not installed yet because, well, you know, no time for that yet. What we do have time for though, guys, is a startup and a test drive. So without further ado, let's get this sucker started and go down the road. All right, let's start her up. Check the transmission fluid one more time, get it out of the shop, and we'll go for a test drive.
Turn the idle down a little bit, obviously. But that is a success. Woo! Sound like NASCAR. Yes, it does sound like NASCAR. You should hear it at 6,000 RPMs. Alrighty, y'all. That's a successful test drive. Long time coming. We've got a lot of work done. In a very short period of time it seems like but it came together and just for conversation's sake I went ahead and put it back on the scales now that we've got you know everything put back together so I hear old red light Ricky well he's got a pretty lightweight duster and unfortunately I think he's got me beat by a few pounds but Ricky if you want to line him up Sykeston I'll be there. So, we'll check out these weights real quick. And that'll probably be the last you see until this car is in Sykes in Missouri at the No Name Nationals. So, keep watching, y'all. Hopefully, we don't blow it up there. I didn't blow it up today. I tried. Figured it'd be best, you know, get that out of the way if it was going to happen. So, let's check the scales. 2,971 so a bodies that weigh 2,000 pounds with no engine in them gain approximately 970 pounds with everything installed so if you're not already make sure you subscribe like and share we'll see you in Sykeston